Hey everybody, Dr. Pancake Face here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to stealth the diamond store. Now, this is a pretty simple map. Essentially, you've just got a store with uh, jewelry in it. You have four guards to spawn, you take out the guards, you go in and steal the jewelry, and you get the hell out. So, um, assets. Not really much in the way of assets to get. You got body bags, but I mean... Not really going to be that necessary, and you also have uh, Expert Driver, which is very helpful when you're going loud, but not so helpful when you're going stealth. Um, now, there are a couple of things that you're going to want. First off, you're going to want um, a silenced weapon, because you are going to be doing some silenced kills. You're going to want an ECM jammer, uh, just in case. You don't 100% need that, but it is helpful to have in case you want to ECM rush the last guard. Um... And then you're also going to want a loud weapon along with the Stockholm Syndrome skill. Because that's what you're going to be using to get down all the civilians. So, how about we jump on in and take a look at that map. Alright, so let's take a look at this map. So, first we spawn out here on the street. And if you look, I want to point out real quick, you have an ATM over there. And you got an ATM right here. Now, I'm pointing this out real quick here at the beginning. Uh, if you do make it to the end without the without using the ECMs, you got both of them, then uh, hey, you can pop open those ATMs, get you a little bit extra cash. Now, the jewelry store we have right here, um, and inside we have the first floor here, and if you go up those staircase, it'll go up to that second floor there. And at the back of that is a door that go, leads to a set of stairs. Go down the back, I'll get to that in a second. Um, now the guards, you have three patrolling guards, there's two that went up there and there's one behind the counter, and then the fourth one is going to be behind that door right there, he's going to be watching the cameras, so that's the first guy we want to take out. Um, I will get to him in just a second, now over here we have, uh, we have this car dealership, which will, not only does it have a civilian in here to worry about, but it also has... A, uh, a safe behind the counter that can spawn some stuff in it. Um, and back here, we have a nice little kind of courtyard. Very quaint. But yeah, we have, some, uh, we have some civilians that can be back here. Right now we got two of them. Um, there's usually not more than maybe like five or six civilians back here. You might have a couple of these tables sitting here. Um, you might have one sitting on this bench, but yeah, you, you just got some civilians back here to take care of once you rush the place You might need to come out here and tie them up or something Now over here is the alleyway and if you see um, You see there's the van and there's the front Now we come down this alleyway and we have a back door that spawns right here now this door you can go in this door and take out the guy on the cameras. Like so. And once he's taken care of, uh, the cameras are down. Now, normally what I like to do after this um, is I like to head up that staircase and go in the back door. Um, now, there are civilians that will walk up and down this alleyway every now and then, so just keep in mind of that. See? No cameras. Okay, so... We open up this. Now we have our back way in. That way we don't have to go in the front door. And we have two objectives coming in. We have the guards. We want to take them out, answer the pagers. And there's also the manager. We want to get the manager down, tie her up, and get her key card. So let's go on ahead and do that. Alright, so we've gotten two of the guards down. As you can see, here's one of them. Here's another one. And we also have the, the manager right there. So how about we take down this uh, last and final guard, oh, fourth good. guard. Yeah, you can take them all down up here, away from the customers, away from the civilians. Because essentially what they'll do, they will just walk right up this staircase, come up here. You can take them down and uh, not have to worry about getting spotted. Now, the bank manager, or not sorry, not bank manager, uh, store manager, is going to be um, an older looking woman. Got this tight bond on the back. Um, in a pantsuit and uh, she has a key card on her now that key card is very useful oh yep 
because you see that thing right there we're going to want to run the key card through that and turn off the alarms on the cases because if we were to smash the cases without hitting that thing it's going to set the alarm and this is no longer going to be a stealth mission it's going to be a loud mission because the police will be on their way so we've gotten everyone down all of the the guards down so essentially now we don't even need to use the ECMs. We can just fire off a couple shots until everyone's down, and then uh, bada bing, bada boom, steal all the jewelry. So, let's go on ahead and uh, get everyone down on the ground. Nice, very nice. Okay, so let's uh, let's go on ahead and tie up everyone out here. Stay down, everybody. Tie up you, tie up you, and you, and you. I just like to have, you know, I like to have a nice, tight grouping of civilians tied up. Oh, you know what? While we're over here, let's pick up that package, tie him up, and then, uh, why don't we just go on ahead and throw the drill on there? Yeah, sure, why not? We'll tie you up. Okay, so, we have all the civilians down. We have, uh, everyone tied up that we really want tied up. So now... If I were to smash one of those cases down there, I'm going to set off the alarm. So before that, I'm going to go on ahead and disable the display case alarm, just like it says. Boom. The alarm is off. Now, I can go down here, smash the cases, Everybody stay not have to worry about uh, setting off the alarm. So that is nice. One thing that I almost forgot to mention, um, the keypad that you swipe the key card in, uh, it can spawn in a couple of different spots. One spot, it can spawn right here, behind this desk. Another spot it can spawn in is right here, in the manager's office. Um, another spot that it can spawn is right here at the bottom of the steps. Um, and also, it can spawn on this pillar right here. Um, I don't remember which wall it spawns on here, but uh, it does spawn on one of these walls. And also... I think it spawns in the security office as well. I don't remember. I don't think that spawns very often in there. Um, but yeah, just uh, just a heads up, there are multiple different spawn locations for that card reader. Now, we have the drill going over there, and there is usually another safe that will spawn just like this one, so we'll go on ahead and get a drill on this. So now, we've got all the civilians down, we've got the cops taken care of, we've got the manager tied up, Oh man, we are doing good. We got the drills on the safes. So, essentially all that's left to do is just to loot all the jewelry. And uh, don't forget, you got your loud weapon, you got your Stockholm Syndrome. Fire off around every 30 seconds, uh, top of the minute, and every half minute. So, boom, nine minutes going ahead and fire off around. And uh, that will make sure that everyone stays down on the ground. So, how about, uh, how about we go on ahead and grab all that jewelry? All right, and there is the last bag. So, we've gotten all the bags secured. Now, we are back for the extra loot. So, first things first, let's go and check the safe up here. What do we got? Come on, come on. Ooh, there we go. Bag of money. Very nice. So, let's go toss this in the van. That is one reason why you never rule out the safes if you can help it. Um, we'll go on ahead and grab the ATM while we're at it. Because we, uh, we can't forget those. I didn't need to use either of my ECMs. Which means I have two ECMs to use on both of the ATMs. Booyah! That's 390000 Hmm, got some jewelry in there. Not bad. I mean, it's better than nothing. And then we're out here to the last and final ECM. ATM. Use the ECM on the ATM. <laughs> hey, hey, there we go. We have clean we have officially cleaned out this map. No civilian casualties. Woo! There we go. Ah, we're in the clear. And there we go. That is how to stealth the diamond store. And that was all the jewelry, all the bags, both ATMs, both safes, and no civilian casualties. Not too shabby. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, go on ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later.
but it's essentially the same as Hotline Miami. Uh, which in there is muriatic acid followed by caustic soda followed by hydrogen chloride and conveniently they went on ahead and put them in order. So, hiding bodies. You can just toss a body bag right here. You never have to worry about anybody's body. Now let's take a look at the kitchen here. Kitchen, you've got this island to hide behind. We've got this countertop to hide behind as you can see. Hiding from that guy right there.